This current challenge is for day six and it's a review on strings and also loops. We have a string S which has a specific length and we want to print the characters from that string but we need to group them. So the even index characters are going to be grouped, one group of characters. Then we're going to have a space and we're going to print the odd index characters. So for example, if we have hacker as the value of the string, then we need to print the character at index zero, index two, and index four together. That is HCE as one group of characters. Then we're going to have a space here and we're going to print the characters at index one, three, and five. That is AKR. So the even indexed characters need to be grouped as one and the odd index characters also need to be grouped as one. But both groups of characters need to be separated by a space. So this challenge starts almost empty. You need to write your solution inside the main function between these comments here and the return statements. I've already done that, so I'm going to paste my solution here. And now I'm going to explain. This challenge works with two input values. The first line of the inputs when you actually run your code is going to be for the integer t, which corresponds to the number of test cases. And the next lines that follow are going to be for the strings. So for example, here we have a value for t, meaning we have two test cases in this case, and then we have two strings corresponding to each test case. The first string is hacker and the second is rank. So we're going to process each string separately and print what is expected. That is the two groups of strings based on the parity of the indices. So here I have my integer called t and then I have my string called s. We don't need multiple strings. We can simply update the value of our current string at every iteration or for every test case. So that's what I'm doing. I'm only getting inputs for my integer t. And once I get this value, I can have a for loop, meaning I can process my string for every test case. So from zero all the way to T, meaning for every test case, I'm going to get some inputs for my S string. So the S string could be hacker or it could be rank in this case. Now I'm using two integer variables. The first one is even index and the second one is odd index. So even indices are going to be 0, 2, 4, and so on. And odd indices are going to be 1, 3, 5, 7, and so on. So the odd value is initialized to 1, and the even index is initialized to 0. Now I have this while loop. Usually when I don't know how many times I need to loop, I like to use a while loop so that I can have this condition. In this case, I'm saying, so long as my even index is within the boundaries of my string, I want to print the character at that even index. And then once I've printed it, notice I don't have any space or end line, then I want to increase my index value by two. Like I said, it's zero, two, four, and so on. So it increases by two at every iteration. Then once I have my group of characters printed, that is even indices, like for example, HCE, then I want to have a space here, just like I explained here, I have a space. And then I'm going to repeat my logic here, but this time around is going to be for the odd indices. So, so long as my odd index is within the boundaries of the string, then I'm going to print the character at that odd index. And then I'm going to increase the value of that index by two. And then when I'm done, I add end line. So that's it for the code of this challenge. Let's run it now. We've passed the sample test case. So I'm going to submit the code and we should be done with day six called Let's Review. So that is all part of my series, 30 days of code. If you like my solution, please subscribe to my channel. Make sure you check out the link to my GitHub in the description of this video. I'll keep posting more videos of HackerRank, so make sure you turn on your notifications and I'll catch you next time.